What's going on guys? Drew here with MSPP and today I'm going to be troubleshooting some extraction issues with my Savage MK2 that I bought recently. Uh, when I took this gun out for uh, sighting in for the scope, it ran flawlessly. About 100 rounds, give or take. No issues with the extraction. Fast forward to hunting season, I took this out with me for moose and caribou. Used it to shoot some tree chickens, some squirrels, let the kids have fun. It would not extract spent cases sometimes even live cases the gun didn't want to pull the case out couldn't figure it out uh, i tried several different ammos that i had with me it didn't seem to be a factor so my only thought was maybe the extractor was bad or maybe the extraction spring was too loose i didn't have anything in the field to really fix it so i decided just to bench it and wait till i get home so today i'm going to be pulling this bolt out i'm going to be checking this spring right here on the bolt make sure it has enough tension to be holding onto that extractor uh, as well as the case guide pin. Found a Reddit forum. Apparently these are pretty well known for extraction issues. So today I'm gonna try to remedy that, do some of the things that that Reddit post suggested, and see what we can do. All right guys, so to remove the bolt from these rifles, a uh, pretty common process for a lot of bolt action rifles. Uh, obviously make sure the gun is clear. Uh, the magazine is out sitting on the table over here and I can see down the barrel it is empty. So go ahead and open your bolt. All you have to do is pull your trigger, oh, also make sure the safety's off and the gun is pointed in a safe direction, obviously. Uh, pull your trigger back. As you move the bolt to the back, that'll allow the bolt to completely slide out. So this is all we're gonna be using today. I will be cleaning this up a little bit. The knife I used to remove those spent cases did scratch up the action in there a little bit, so I'm gonna clean that up. Um, but today, this is all we're gonna be needing. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into this bolt. So, so this is your extractor right here. Uh, runs along the right side of the bolt. And this is your case guide pin, runs along the left side of the bolt. And then there's the spring, runs all the way around and it holds tension on them uh, inwards. So obviously you can move them outwards a little bit. I don't know if you guys will be able to see. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus. Now the extractor is on the bottom of the bolt on the screen and the case guide pin is on the top. Now, if you notice a difference, the extractor itself has got a pretty good edge to it. Uh, the case guide pin obviously does not. Now, in the Reddit post, the guy suggested that the case guide pin and the extractor get a little bit of a sanding to sharpen up those edges. Might give it a little more bite as it's holding onto the case as it's removing them. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that as well as take off this spring and see if we can adjust some of the tension on it. So I'm just gonna take my pick here, get up under the spring, pull it off. You can buy new springs and put them on there. Uh, in the Reddit post itself, he suggested if adjusting the tension by simply squeezing this doesn't work, he bought a second one and layered them one on top of each other uh, and put it back on there and it seemed to fix his problems as well. Um, so I hopefully don't have to do that. So I'm gonna take out my extractor and take out the case guide pin. Hopefully. There we go. Also be very careful not to get these mixed up uh, on the bolt. Um, you can and they will go into the slots on either side. Now the problem is if you put the case guide pin on the extraction side, you're just gonna run into a whole slew of never being able to extract a case. Uh, it will run, the gun will run, um, but just keep an eye out and make sure you're putting them back on the uh, appropriate sides of the bolt. Now let's see if we can sharpen up the edges on these or sand them down a little bit. So I'm going to try to use a Dremel. Uh, I'm going to change the tip on that. So I'm going to ditch that. There we go. I'm already taking some material off. Not a whole lot. Try to get this. Ever so slightly right in that little groove. Trying to give it something better to catch on. So that's about all you can see. I just took smoothed off some of the burrs on the back side. All I did was take a tiny bit off just to make it a little sharper. Hopefully that'll grab. Now I do need to make sure I don't get these mixed up. Now as far as the spring goes, in the Reddit post, the guy says uh, to give it a little bit of a squeeze 
just to add some tension when you put it back on the bolt. Now he did say if you if you end up squeezing too much and end up putting a fold line in this metal, uh, it's ruined. You might as well just order a new spring. So be very, very cautious with this. It is very thin. Got a little bit more of a bend. It's kind of hard to tell on the camera, but in person you can see it. All right. Now, let's put these things back in the bolt. They each have a slot. So put the case guide pin back on the right side. Now these are grooved to make sure that they are accepted with the spring. So keep that in mind. You got it, you got it. There we go. Notches in the spring go backwards. I'm a dummy. Uh, I just gotta be very, very careful. So what I did, I instead of putting it all the way over, I put the notch right on top of the pin. You can see there's space here. So I didn't put it all the way on. And then I stretched and did the same thing on this side so it's sitting on top. So now hopefully, that side went in. This side, there we go. So now the spring's on. Feels a little bit better on both sides. So I guess now all we have to do is put it back in the rifle and test it out. Uh, I have some dummy rounds. Uh, that way nobody gets angry at me in the comments. So I'm gonna get, go ahead and put the bolt back in. You do have to pull the trigger uh, to pull the detent down. Wiggle her back in. Check for function. Make sure the firing pin works. Injection test real quick. Uh, I got some dummy rounds, they're blue. Uh, 22 long rifle. So, shouldn't really dry fire on them, but oh well. Okay, that one came out. Oh, that one shot out. Whoa, that one hit me. I think it hit the microphone. Wow, okay. So, I mean, without getting out to the range, uh, with just the dummy rounds, seems to be ejecting cases just fine. So, that seems to have, for now, fixed my issue of extraction. Uh, so yeah, uh, shout out to the guy that had the Reddit post. I'm sorry, I don't remember your name. I'm sure I could look it up and put it in the comment section down below or the description. Uh, thank you guys for watching. So yeah, in case this helps you guys out, leave a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, uh, and as always, thanks for watching my video, guys.